Hello and welcome. So today we are going to cover how to sell a used floor. Let's get to business quick, but do subscribe to my channel, like it if you like the video and share it with your people. Anyway, so now, uh, how do you sell your used floor? If you, if you look at it, there is a way of doing it correctly because builders are able to sell their floors. And, uh, but, but like for selling used floors, a lot of people struggle a lot, you know. If you have, if you have kind of priced your property reasonably, your property is not so bad. Why is it not selling? So there are three things you can do, without without like really going into much. That there can be a hundred things, but three things are the most important things. And here there are. Number one, the most important thing is that you need to renovate your property just a little bit. I'm not saying do a massive thing and 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 spend like fifty lakhs on your floor. You could, I mean, but in most cases, it's not needed. Let's put it this way. Just do like, like if there is any issues in the house, if there is any seepage, if there is any thing broken, you know, uh, something is very dirty, clean it up. If there is termite in the kitchen, change the kitchen, do a termite treatment. Don't try to hide the flaws of the property. Fix the flaws. People don't buy properties with flaws and if they buy, they pay very, very less. So if I had a used floor and I was to sell it, I would paint it from inside, fix the kitchen, fix the bathrooms a little bit. Uh, if there was anything broken, I would fix that. If one of the wooden floors are rotting, I would, I would, I would just change that. It's not so expensive, like 20 to 50,000 rupees, nothing. Um, also, I would also try to get the building painted from outside because outside is a common thing. And if somebody comes to see it, he has this thing in mind that tomorrow he might not be able to get it done, you know, on his own. So I would I would try to get something done from outside also, paint the stilt area, fix anything broken in the stilt area, clean up the servant's quarter, get it a little bit painted. All of these things don't, don't cost so much, but they make your property so much more sellable. A buyer can say, oh, it doesn't matter to me. I know I can see and I can visualize, but believe me. <laughs> And, and all the good builders do believe this. Keep your property very presentable, very nice, shiny, clean and stuff. You know, when somebody comes in, he, he, he can visualize, but, but the way it looks when they come in is, is all that matters in most cases. Number two, it's a very, very easy thing to do. Keep some parking available. So generally speaking, say in the area where I operate, South Delhi, there is, there is usually a scarcity of parking and if somebody is coming to see the house and his broker is bringing that, that client also and they are coming in two cars and they can't find even any parking in, outside your house, this, is, this gives a very bad impression. So when you fix up a time, you make sure that the parking right outside the gate, your gate is available or maybe take your cars out of the house and make one or two available in the stilt area so that when the person comes in, he can actually see how much parking is there and he can, he can have a feeling like, yes, I could park my cars there if I owned this. Compared to when your cars are also parked, somebody else's cars are also parked and then there is no space and they have to go five buildings down the line, park outside somebody's house and that guy comes out and says, don't park your car. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you don't want all that. I mean, they just pause the whole thing in the first. I, I've had such instances where the person had gone to see in the property had an argument with the next door neighbor and I, he just gave it up. He said, I don't want to see this property. Let's go elsewhere, you know, and you want to avoid that. Number three, again, it's, it's not something I want you to spend a lot of money on. But generally what I've seen is people have furnished their houses according to their taste. And in some cases, it's too much filled up. You don't want it too much filled up. Remove the furniture if you have to, but it should be staged like in us or, or other countries than india people stage their properties you know so they would put the furniture according to the property make it look nicer livelier make it look cleaner if you have too much furniture or if your furniture is bad i mean you need to confront that idea that, that your choice might not be something that everybody else likes so you could have an opinion from somebody else. You could remove some furniture, keep some furniture. If it's, if it's an empty apartment, I would. Uh, it would be a great idea to put something there which looks very nice, which looks kind of up class, well, up market. Looks looks uh, gives it a nice feel, like you know, like it belongs in the house or highlights the house in some way. At the least, you're going to keep it very very clean, but you also 
if you have the furniture there already at least you know make sure it's not dirty it's not broken bad, looking bad if it's a very modern apartment you have very traditional furniture in the house it's just going to spoil the whole thing you know i would rather keep it empty in that case you know but if you have your furniture just make sure it's very nicely kept everything is organized you know well put the kitchen looks nice smells nice the bathrooms are clean no towels and no like underwears hanging at the back of the door and people go to see it. it's horrible but it happens you know uh, it's called staging you could look it up google it a little bit but uh, at the least make sure it's very nice and clean and any additional furniture if it's too much filled up just get rid of it it is going to make you many more lakhs than the furniture would be worth or move it to a relative's furniture or, or a relative's house or, or something like that. I hope these tips help. Uh, but used properties, generally you have to spend more time and effort to, to get them sold. Uh, you have to, because sometimes when you're living there, it's not that easy to show or if it's rented, it's not that easy to show. Uh, so you should take care of these things more than a new property, you know, because these things are going to reduce their effort. It's, it's not going to take as long and it's not going to be, you know, like people come in and they keep rejecting your property. Not a great feeling. <laughs> you don't want that. So I hope this helps. Uh, please do like the video if you liked it. Share it with other people. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the other videos. Thank you.